My wife and I recently celebrated an anniversary by traveling from our apartment in New York City to the Bel Air Ski Resort area in the Catskills in upstate New York, and we stayed at Alpine Osteria, a small, russic, and charming bed and breakfast. Alpine Osteria is only about 30 seconds downhill from the lower lodge at Bel Air Mountain. The drive from Manhattan, by the way, was about two and a half hours. We stayed on a Sunday night in the fall before there was any snow. The leaves were just starting to turn, but probably because of an unusually dry summer, there just wasn't much yet in the way of autumn foliage. The lodge was uncrowded when we arrived, but we immediately noticed a wood-burning smell in the air that added a welcoming touch and some ambiance. The smell was coming from a large log burning near the entrance at the front. Scott, the owner, proprietor, and chef, later told us the building was about 70 years old and he had been operating a and b there for 16 years. He showed us to a room on the second floor. We found it to be spacious and comfortable, tastefully decorated with some nice amenities, TV, small refrigerator, several pieces of furniture for lounging. Scott scored some big points with us because he had some champagne glasses waiting. We mentioned when making the reservation that it was an anniversary and we would be bringing along a bottle of bubbly. I also especially appreciated having lights over the headboard because they made it easy to read before turning in that night. The bathroom was clean and nicely appointed with a jacuzzi-like bathtub and a nicely tiled shower stall that was fairly spacious. Our room included a veranda with a table and chairs for sitting and reading. It was extremely quiet and peaceful out there, the only sound being the wind rustling through many, many nearby trees. The breakfast area featured a fireplace which wasn't going yet when I came down early the next morning, but I had no problem with that because it was still fall and the temperature later in the day was going to be in the 60s, uh, so I understood that a fire would have been inappropriate. I sat in the corner for an hour or so and caught up on some reading until it was time for breakfast. Since we got up before anyone else, Scott, who by the way is a graduate of the Culinary Institute of America, allowed us to come into his kitchen while he prepared his signature fried egg dish, which we both had some fun watching. Incidentally, I've produced a separate video on how he did those eggs, and you can click on the link below to see that. When the eggs were ready, he brought them to our table in the breakfast area. Very nice, appealing presentation with some toast, optional sausage, and some fresh fruit. All in all, we really enjoyed our stay, even though it was pretty brief, and we'll definitely come back. By the way, I also wrote a review on TripAdvisor and gave Alpine Osteria a five-star rating.